Hi everyone, this is Kamal. Welcome back to Video Product Official Channel. In these few episodes, we're going to walk you through the basics of equalizer and how to EQ the video properly to make the audio sound better. But before we dive into the journey, make sure you check out the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. All right, so now let's get the video started. We all know that sound is made by vibrations, but this doesn't mean we can hear the sounds made by the vibrations of all objects. The frequency range of human hearing is 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. With an equalizer or EQ, we can adjust the volume of different frequency bands to make the instruments sound better. The horizontal axis in the EQ spectrum represents the frequency. They are low, mid-low, middle, mid-high, and high-frequency bands. Sounds between the 20 Hz and 80 Hz range are low frequency. This region is very important for music. Boosting low frequency can get us a more nice and punching kick drum sound. Most of us can hardly hear the frequency changes for the sounds below 40 Hz. Boosting or cutting around the 50 Hz to 60 Hz range can produce pretty noticeable results. The deep and powerful bass sound live up here in the range of 70 Hz to 125 Hz. So if we get bass in our mix, try out boosting these frequencies. The 200 Hz to 400 Hz frequency range consists of the sounds of many instruments. If we get a snare drum in our music mix, boosting these frequencies can stress a nice woody sound. It's also helpful for getting the sound of guitar in our mix more natural. If we get small cymbals and hi-hat or percussions in our music mix, adjusting these frequencies can make them sound more crispy. As for the 400 to 800 Hz frequency range, increasing these frequencies can get a more clear bass sound. It's also helpful for getting a more warm tom sound. The 1 kHz to 3 kHz frequency range. Boosting these frequencies can make the guitar or bass sound more harsh and aggressive. This can also help to improve the piano sound. But beware, some noisy also live up here. Boosting these frequencies too much might mess up our music. 3 kHz to 6 kHz. Changing the volume for these frequencies can make the guitar sound more gorgeous and expressive. Boosting 6 kHz to 10 kHz range can make the guitar sound crisper, and this can also beautify the percussion, snare, and the cymbal sounds. Boosting 10 kHz to 16 kHz can make the percussion, snare, cymbal in our mix sound sharper. By adjusting the EQ parameters, we can emphasize the certain character for an instrument that we want to give. For example, the faster tempo is one of the most dominant features of hip-hop and rap. To bring up the faster tempo feel, we can stress the drum beat sound in our music mix. So we boost the low and high frequencies to make the drum beats and the small cymbals sound more noticeable. Flagger. We have many preset EQ settings based on the music styles to choose from. With them, we can easily order the audio. We can work with these presets directly. In addition, based on the emotions of the video, we can apply EQ to adjust the tone of the background music. It's also a good editing technique. 
Alright, now you've reached the end of today's video about how to edit the sound of instruments with EQ in VideoProc Flagger. I think you've got it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye.